I put my syllabuses, syllabi, syllabuses. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to show you guys what's in my college backpack. So, let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay, it is currently 3.15 and I have to leave in about 20 minutes to go to work. So, I'm just going to go ahead and hop right into this video and show you guys what I carry in my college backpack. If you've been a follower of my channel for a while. You do know that I currently just transferred to UNC Charlotte, go 49ers, and moved to Charlotte, North Carolina in the last couple weeks. So I just started this week and I have a few classes on campus and then I also have one hybrid which is mainly online and then I have one online class off campus. So I'm gonna show you what I carry in my college backpack. This is the backpack that I carry. It's really super bright. I got it a couple years ago at like rack room or shoe department or something like that. I got it whenever I was starting college off at my community college because I had one class seated and then I ended up taking all the rest of my classes throughout community college online. But since I only used it for one class, I just figured I'd bring it with me to Charlotte and use it there. Super cute, super bright, it's Nike and teal and black, so I like it a lot. So, first things first, I'll show you guys, well, I'll show you like the main stuff that everybody has that's like the same thing. So I'll show you what's in the big pocket. Pretty roomy in here, I got a bunch of stuff. First thing, of course, is I have my laptop. I got all of my stickers um, from Redbubble online. If you've never checked them out, definitely do so. You get a discount after you purchase so many. They have so much stuff, but they have a lot of stickers for laptops, for water bottles, so definitely check out Redbubble. Um, but yeah, I got all of my stickers from there and I just keep that in the big laptop pocket inside of here. Um, I'll just sit it on my bed, cause yeah. Um, along with that, I do carry my laptop charger just because if I am staying on campus after a class or something and studying, I will plan to use this because my laptop loves to die super fast. Very unfortunate. Um, I also have my phone charger, same concept. If I need to charge it on campus, then I have it. Um, I have not needed to use this yet, but I'm waiting because I know I will need to. I get cold super easy in some classes and sometimes inside of buildings, they're freezing even when it's 90 degrees outside. Um, but I just have this oversized hoodie. It's like kind of hard to show you guys because it's super soft and like flowy. But yeah, it's just an oversized gray hoodie, super soft and like fleece material from Aerie. It was on sale. I don't know about you guys, but if I'm trying to study, I need to be like relaxed and in loose, comfortable clothing. If I feel like I'm wearing a tight jacket or hoodie or something, or t-shirt, anything in general, I'm going to feel restrained and it's going to stress me out and make it harder for me to study. I don't know if that's scientific, but that's just me. Just saying. <laughs> Next thing I got, or carry, is this big five-star notebook. I said five-star, I meant to say five-subject, but yes, it is also five-star. So it's just a five-subject. I have multiple classes in here that I'm going to be using this for. So I just carry one versus a bunch of different ones so that way I can keep it organized by the tabs but also have it all in one place and not have to worry about carrying large amounts of things. The next thing that I have in my backpack is this green just simple folder. I put my syllabi in here um, along with like access codes that I had to use for classes and my schedule printed that as well. It also has things like where you can hole punch it and put them in here, which I might end up doing. We'll see. But yeah, that's what this is for. And basically just any kind of loose leaf things that they could hand out or you could use or need at any given time. I just like to have it and put in here rather than carrying a binder. The last major school thing that I carry in my backpack is just my planner. This is just from Target and I really, really like it. I got this with one of my friends when we were 
school supply shopping one day and I picked it up super cute it's just like really minimalistic and you probably saw this if you do watch my videos because I did have it in one of my my productive day in my life vlog but it has the tabs divided by week and also divided by month so I like that a lot because I really like to lay it all out and then go week by week from there. That way I already have the majority of it laid out that I already know far in advance and then can just go back and use it for reference week by week. The next thing that I have is I carry this Victoria's Secret. It's one of those pouches you get when you spend like $60 or something and they give you a purse and a pouch with it. The zipper like actual thing broke off but it still has this on here and I use it for this purpose just because it's big and fits a lot of stuff and I mainly just have a bunch of pens and highlighters in here. Um, I know nobody really cares about all that but I'll just show you what kind that I like to use. So I have a few, quite a few lead pencils that I literally have not used very much and I got them whenever I was at that community college. Um, they're just blue, purple, basic lead pencils. These ones I found when I was in high school it would break very easily, like get smushed by books and stuff. But you know um these are some of my all-time favorite pen slash marker i don't really know what you would call it they're the papermate flare pens but they're almost like marker basically so but yeah they're really nice to write with if you're not gonna look at the back of the paper because it bleeds through which is very unfortunate but they do write very well so that is why I like them so much. These are also pens that I had just, I haven't repurchased pens this year. I just had these, really enjoy these. Oh, okay. Um, just purple, pink, and blue also. These are just the big round stick grip. They write really well. They're just a little bit thicker than like the normal ballpoint that I like. I sound like such a nerd. These are my all-time favorite pens right here. These are the Pilot G207. You already know if you've ever used one of these before, these are the best pens. The only thing I don't like is that they're not bright and pretty. I like the bright and pretty ones. They make me feel more aesthetically pleasing and just like, I don't know, it makes me happier to see brighter colors. But they write amazing. They very rarely like run out of ink on me. These pens are awesome and if you've never tried them and you need a pen that you're like, or if you're really picky with your pens and you're like, I need something that writes good, definitely give these bad boys a try because they write great. I have a few highlighters in here. These are my favorite, but I also threw this in here just because I still had it from like high school. It's bright liner fluorescent highlighter. But then this one, you can tell this looks a lot more yellow. This is more like neon yellow kind of rather than this is like bright yellow. What I like about these, if you've ever used them before, is they have the clear tip beside of the actual highlighter part. So you can really like highlight and see through it, see what you're highlighting so you don't like go out of the line and not have a perfect straight line because I personally cannot highlight in a perfect straight line. When I see people that do it, it makes me so jealous because like that takes true talent right there. I also really like these pens a lot. They're um, pretty colors, that's what I like. But yeah, have those in here as well. Also just a random black pen and three Sharpies. So I have a normal tip and then one that's multi, that's the normal tip and then the fine tip. And then this is just the fun tip. So I keep three Sharpies in here because literally all throughout high school, I never carried Sharpies, but I was always needing them and would have to go ask a teacher or another classmate. And even like when I was in that one seated class I took at my local community college, like literally needed Sharpies all the time. So I decided I was gonna carry some Sharpies now. But yeah, that's all for my little pencil pouch. Um, the next thing that I have already used, literally the first day of class, was this umbrella. I'm not gonna open it because I'm inside and I'm not about that life. Um, but I just got this on Amazon. It's literally the coolest umbrella I've ever seen. So the way you open it, it literally you push a button and then the way you close it, you also push the button and then just push it back in. And it closes the opposite way so that it doesn't drip on you and it's waterproof. So it like falls right off, doesn't carry wet into your backpack. 
Super nice, love this umbrella. Okay, next thing, super important to have on campus is my keys. I currently have this Vera Bradley lanyard just because it's bright and pretty and I like it and it matches my pepper spray. Um, if you're wondering what this is, it's also a defensive mechanism from Amazon. Um, but main thing about my keys is just so I have my student ID. Oh look, there's the cover for my umbrella. I did not know where that went. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open this pocket, which has more study things inside of it. Um, I just have a big stack of giant note cards. Well, I say giant, they're just bigger than typical note cards because I write very large and can fit way more on this that I actually need. And I also have really bad vision. If you guys didn't know that, I do wear glasses um, and contacts, so I have to be able to see what I write, you guys. I'm not kidding you. So, carry some large note cards. I also have small, regular size note cards. This, I literally, pretty sure I got this for high school. Um, actually, yes, I definitely got this for high school. I was trying to see if I have had this since middle school, but no. Um, it's just a little note card box, and it has little dividers, so you can divide up by, like, maybe what chapter you're studying for if you're doing a cumulative exam you can do them by chapter or topic subtopic whatever you want to do um also have like the regular size note cards and some yellow ones because you guys already know i'm all about some bright colors so this is just ub and this is from target i don't know if they still have it or not but i really like this and it's lasted me a while it's kind of like messed up if you look at it it's offset but still does the job and that's what matters so next thing i like to carry is just like a small snack whether that be like a granola bar or something in this sense i have a bag of almonds um i like to have something to snack on because if i get hungry i'm literally not even going to be able to concentrate and it makes me feel like crap so also like to carry headphones or airpods is what i have in here right now i also usually have my laptop case which holds my laptop because i personally normally i have it um in its laptop case inside of my backpack because it just feels like i need more protection over that it's very fragile computer and i do not want to mess it up so yeah all right next thing very very important for me i'm super super dermophobic if you do know me you know that i'm 100 percent certain of that but i just have some equate walmart brand farm fresh apples hand sanitizer this smells really good it kind of smells like fall but yeah simple enough also just have some lady products in here and then i have a couple more little things that i like to carry um i have this little thing i reused from smile direct club um whenever i ordered my impressions kit they also they send you a bunch of these that have like the molding that you use for your actual impressions and i saved mine and decided to reuse them for ibuprofen and if i get a headache while I'm trying to study or something, it's just gonna ruin it for me. So I like to carry ibuprofen on me. I also carry it in my purse too. So that's what that's for. Another thing that I always like to have with me on campus is a water bottle because I do a lot of walking on campus. It is a huge campus. I get super hot, dehydrated and sweaty. It's not a pretty sight, it's not fun, but I like to carry around a water bottle. So my best friend got it for me for my birthday it's Nathan. It's like really slick, smooth material. And guys, it matches. No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't match. But kind of like, kind of like the same gist. Like you get it. Like it's a different color, but if it's covered up and just the white part sticking out, see, you know what I mean? So yeah, the water bottle, love that. Um, or sometimes I like have a couple other ones, but this is just like my favorite one I like to carry because it has like a thermal um, Inside so I like to fill it up with ice and water and Last but not least Chapstick because your girl I use chapstick like nobody's business like literally I have 10 million different chapsticks 
chapstick break sorry guys um this is just the Burt's Bees flavor crystals lip balm and sweet orange which is 100% natural like 100% Burt's Bees is my favorite chapstick second favorite is sun bum love sun bum um I also have some books that I have I don't really necessarily carry my books yet um I do have one lab manual um, which is not going to be in this video, but I think you guys can forgive me for that because you don't really want to see that anyways. But it's my lab manual for anatomy and physiology. And I do have my book book, which is right here. It's loose leaf. I haven't taken it to class yet, but I'm going to this week. Um, so I'm just going to put this in a binder and carry it with me. I'm not about to carry this whole thing to class and just bring what pages for that chapter that we're doing that day or whatever but yeah that and the lab manual i will bring to class in my backpack but for the most part that is everything that i carry on a regular basis i hope you guys enjoyed this video i love watching videos like this so i hope you guys enjoyed um also if you don't follow me on instagram already be sure to do that and give me a comment on one of my recent pictures or something or dm me and let me know you came from youtube i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day bye guys